Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to show you that how we can build crystal structure of our compounds, our polymer, our metal oxide, and how we can make 3D structure of the crystal and uh, the surface of the crystal, which is important for different to study different properties like adsorption properties on the surface of the substance or we can study DFT studies or simulation for different compounds or polymers. So let's start from very beginning that we will go to file and after making a project like here I will save or I will make a new project then we will save our old project so we will make a new project so in this way uh, in our previous study in our previous video I will also show you that how we can make a new file so after making a file we will go to we can make a new 3d atomistic file like here if I am making another file before this we have this 3d atomistic file and we produce silver oxide and polonium oxide metals now I have made another 3D atomistic file and I have changed the parameters of its background. So I will show you that how we can change these parameters. Now I am going to import our crystal structure. This our crystal structure or we have different templates available in Material Studio and we can obtain these uh, oxides or different materials from the templates. So if when we import our structures, uh, we will get uh, in Material Studio, we will get that we have these structures and uh, when we open this structure uh, folder, we have different options available like catalyst, ceramics, glasses, metal oxides, metals, minerals and so on so polymers repeat units organics semiconductors etc and molecular crystals so today uh, we will focus on uh, metal oxides so i'm going to open this folder after opening this we will get different options like here we have the option of silver oxide aluminium oxide similarly we have barium oxide calcium oxide chromium oxide copper oxide iron oxide and manganese and magnesium, polonium and silicon and then titanium and then vanadium, zirconium and zinc oxide. So a lot of options available we have in the oxides. So to uh, I am going to show you like we here I am going to plot zinc oxide. Let's suppose we are making the crystal structure of zinc oxide. So after opening this we will go to build then go to surface and leave surface now we will uh, make this surface like here we have an option of minus one zero zero or we can uh, make dimensions uh, for here so cleavage plane like here i am going to make this one 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 for cleavage plane and the thickness is uh, five or four so now so now here we have cleavage plane and the thickness for our crystal structure we can rotate and I, i'm going to show you so here we have now i will uh, go to build and then go to symmetry and we will produce supercell for this so when we produce supercell of this unit cell we will make this either three four five or so so you i am going to take it four and for v we are going to take four now it will create uh, four layers for supercell now we have built uh, this for these four layers and uh, after making this again uh, we will go to build then we will go to crystal and build vacuum slab now it will make it make it a, a vacuum slab for our uh, surface of our crystal structure so vacuum orientation 
we can select orientation like here I'm going to select C orientation crystal thickness is 20 and vacuum thickness is 15 and uh, it may be sometime it is 10 but I have selected it 15 and after this we will go to build now this uh, vacuum is built for our this crystal sphere and uh, after making this now we have this uh, 3d structure of our uh, zinc oxide crystals and it is a supercell and uh, now we can change the display options we will go to display style and uh, here we will go to ball, we can go to ball and stick model or we can directly go to cpk and coloring option colors by element now here we have zinc oxide structure of our crystal and uh, after this uh, we can uh, we can go to display option and uh, before this i am going to show you that we can remove this uh, box uh, so go to lattice and from lattice uh, we can change the dimensions from a b to c so in which dimension we want to grow this crystal so we can change the lattice also we can grow this uh, crystal uh, here i am going to uh, make this none okay so after this we have this uh, crystal slab we can select atoms uh, which we want to uh, remove or we don't want to show that atoms so we can make now i am going to show you that how we will change the background so go to background and from here we can make a solid color like here white color or black or we can go to image texture and uh, it can be like this or uh, this so we can make different backgrounds so we have different options for this uh, background color light blue black then multicolor spectrum magenta okay so we have different options available for our uh, background so we can uh, make it perspective and uh, depth uh, light quality we can uh, enhance so here in this way we have this zinc oxide layer now i am going to show you another metal oxide structure uh, we can build different crystal structures i told you that we can build now i am going to open this file again we can make another uh, 3d atomistic window we can open another window or we can use the same window and again i am going to file and in this uh, we know that in this folder structures we have already uh, saved structures so we will open this metal oxide and from here i am going to open some metal oxide then this time i am going to open let's suppose uh, iron oxide now here we have iron oxide crystal and uh, i am going to show you that this is our uh, iron oxide crystal i am making this uh, 3d structure of our crystal surface so we can build so it is our crystal we can rebuild crystal we have this option for this latest parameters these are the latest parameter for this iron oxide crystal and these are the options so we can rebuild our crystal structure by entering this uh, different options 
so this is hexagonal type and this these are the parameters now i am going to build surface cleave surface uh, we can change this uh, this this cleavage plane so thickness is 5 cleave now this is our iron oxide crystal surface now go to build symmetry make supercell uh, we can change the values of u and v we can make a supercell like suppose i am going to make this 4 and this value as 5 so create supercell now it is our supercell of iron oxide and this is origin o and in this direction we have u value and in this direction we have value of v now making this uh, vacuum we will build vacuum slab against this and uh, i'm going to make uh, this vacuum towards a b c we can choose different option i'm going to choose c and the thickness i'm going to adjust build now this is our uh, iron oxide surface we can is and uh, display style we can choose ball and stick model or we can use cpk color by element or we can choose different colors according to our own so now this is our crystal structure of iron oxide okay i am going to remove these lines so go to lattice lattice one okay we can build uh, this uh, lattice towards uh, any direction like here if i am going to uh, make this as three so it will be towards uh, b direction it will be built can be one and c two Okay. and i'm going to change the background we can change the background so we will go to display option background and uh, solid color the color from here solid color now it is white we can change we have different options of color and uh, graphics orthographic our perspective okay so in this way we can build different uh, structures or we can grow our crystal in uh, any direction like here i have shown you that i have grown this structure in c direction we can uh, build this structure in different directions uh, similarly we can make other metal oxide structures from here we can select different uh, metal oxides like here i am going to uh, select this lead oxide and uh, go to build crystal surface leaf surface thickness remain same okay and now go to build symmetry and supercell 
3 and uh, in direction of V again it is 3 now this is our supercell and then build Okay, I am going to remove these vacuum lines and uh, so here we will go to lattice from here uh, none okay and background display option background is white okay in this way we can build our different crystal structures so today we discussed that we can build different surfaces of metal oxides in our next video we will discuss uh, how we can build crystal structures of polymers or molecular crystals if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and share my videos thanks for watching my videos